I couldn't go without the body tension. Without the body tension? Yeah, that's the only thing. It, it's different every time. But then again, you know, with that, the body tension is the only thing that made me think, you know. The body tension is evidence. Yeah, but that, that's, it's the most apparent evidence. The other evidence would probably not be enough for me to conclusively say. You know, not counting the light. You know, not counting the things that actually proved it. Right. To me. Alright. Because, you know, I... Well, the, the fact that if I was... If the question remained unanswered... That's what made that so fascinating. The possibility that we self-induce this just by doing a thought experiment. Yeah. About thinking about... <laughs> You know, what I, I, I didn't have any expectation whatsoever. Right. Think about what, you know, think about the impossible, I guess, and then reaching it. Yeah. I like it. You do? It's good. Yeah. It fulfills my expectations. You know what? Forget the shirt thing, which we'll probably never get to. Okay. Replace that with the massage thing. I would like it. Whoa, that actually, I mean, that would be, that would get into a whole nother way of thinking, you know, that would open up, well, everything we do will, yeah, so it doesn't matter. I need a massage. I mean, I really, I haven't told you this. No. I really enjoy massages. Did I, I had an orgasm from a massage. Really? Yeah. When? It wasn't, it wasn't, it was only mental. There was, it wasn't any, Okay. you know, I didn't ejaculate, but it was an identifiable orgasm that I had from the only massage that had gone on, uh, sort of long enough, I guess, that didn't just stop at, you know, oh, I'm tired, you know, right. that kind of thing. I don't mean to make fun of the person that says I'm tired, but... That's a, yeah. Right. That, that was Kim, uh, Kimberlyn in uh, Washington, D.C. That was on the last night we were there. Ooh, the last night of trips is always so good. That it always, something happens. You know, it's the last night. Yeah. It's not like you're intending on, dude, this is the last night, we have to do something. If that was the mentality, you'd never get anywhere. That's the paradox of it. But... Yeah, I mean, there are Philip, Philip and Tom were over there, which are kind of comparable to say. You know, whatever two friends that you could bring in here that would not multiply the conversation that much. Like from the beginning when we were saying, oh, it was a good idea, we didn't bring Colleen in here. Yeah. That type of thing. Okay. You know, at this point, we're like, wow, if Colleen was here. That's a new, new aspect, be, yeah, yeah, but. But uh, yeah, Philip and Tom were like that. I mean, real yeah. smart guys. Actually, they were they were drug users, and I don't mean anything about that, right, as you no, know. I got, I got it. I got it. Although Philip did, Philip does heroin, and uh, yeah, Tom Tom's more like me in that sense, I guess. Then, a actually, Tom, uh, he's a physicist. Did nice. I tell you this? No. Okay. Yeah. Man, there is so much in my life you don't know. That's in that you would find very yeah. interesting. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what, you know, he was more, like, he, he did stuff, but it wasn't, it wasn't that. And he kind of had a way of talking that was uh, stoner-like. All right. Like, you can identify, yeah. maybe you know what I mean. I do. You know, and he'd be talking about theoretical physics like that. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Excellent. <laughs> That's so perfect. Yeah. That's how I talk about theoretical physics. When I talk <laughs> about theoretical physics. Well, he, he'd actually, you know, done many years of schooling and right, you know, right. ma the math of it. Yeah. I mean, there's an obvious difference, but. Yeah, yeah. The parallel between the two yeah, stars. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't mean to put so much emphasis on that. It's all good. And when, when I described it as being the math of it, that made it more clear, I guess, any, any possible yeah. uh, fuzziness. You know, within that margin of error, there is something positive and something negative. Yeah. That's it. 
conversation is so interesting. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know, for the past, like, 30 seconds, I've been hyper-aware of the fact that we are communicating ideas. And it was interesting for me. The first time that came on, uh, and the other times, we, we did it. Huh, this is interesting. Because I, I was trying to before about how we had some concept, this, and then that, you know, a meta concept was spurred out from it. Yeah. Uh, it's, I wish my M was different. Uh, that in this, we had all the information from the past level. So mm -hmm. th this concept actually contains everything, yeah. you know, in it. Whereas this one, uh, ooh, oh, I'm going to give it a cool name, King Function. Uh, no, that's a cool, <laughs> that's intriguing. Yeah. You know, especially in the... Which function are you referring to right now? The one that the, that sound's connected to. Okay. Sound? Yeah. Oh, this is how I think, by the way. All right. Which, you know. It's similar to how I think, I think. Okay. Very non-visual. And also, if you were wondering, that's just the natural movements of the house. All right. Okay. I was thinking about other things. Yeah, this is that sound that's related to the king function. Now, ooh, ooh, okay. Now, what we're talking about here is iterations of that sound, which, you know, I'll, I'll do by drawing this, I guess. Yeah. Which, th that is not what's going on in the mind, but you want to say something? No, I was... Okay. I was yeah, the gesture yes. implied, but it was wrong. This is cool. Yeah, it is. We need to actually be, uh, we need to have focused creativity. We need to set some type of something that we can achieve. And we'll spend a lot of time thinking about what that is later. All right. Right now, we're just exploring the let's, new relationship. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, this is each adoration. Dude. Of the uh, instances when the sound occurred? Yeah, well, now I'm, I'm thinking about this system. All right. You know. And that's what I was thinking earlier. I guess... Mm, mm. Hmm. I guess, uh, what to relax myself, which, you know, over the course of doing this, I've discovered how to relax myself. Right. And now I obviously feel much more relaxed than before. Right. It's even a, you could even set a computer to measure the tone of my voice and the length of each symbol. <laughs> We could do that later. Yeah. We have all the audio. But that's not necessary. Oh, you should do that. I would yeah. like it if you did that. That could be hard. Do you think? I have no way of saying whether it would be hard or difficult. I think it would be hard for you. I couldn't do it. You know, there's no way I could do that. I mean, maybe we could come up with how to do it, and, but the, how to implement that is the hard part. You know, I mean, you know, us finding some sort of framework yeah. that will allow us to do this. I mean, if we were to pop the audio file in Audacity and look at it, look at the, the spikes. Oh, that's a lot simpler than what I was thinking. Ooh. ooh. Yeah, we would map. Oh, yeah. Now we have the goal. We're kind of, ooh, you know? I like this. Yeah. Okay, what we would do. Now we're focused. Ooh. We would have to start with the assumption that at some point early on you were tense and now you're not tense. And then we could compare the two extremes and see what they looked like. Mm. And then see if that pattern fit throughout the rest of it. I wasn't going to do that. No? Ooh, ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. What I was thinking of doing is taking the whole audio file. Alright. And uh... Can I turn the heat back up one notch? Yeah. It's highly unlikely that I would veto that. Alright. 
It started at 75, then I turned it to 76, you complained, I turned it down to 75. Also, I have a much better idea of, you know, what sort of character I would write. You know, into a screenplay or not, or whatever. Right. I mean, now. How so? You know, what I just said, that was very distinctive. Do you remember what I said? Yes. What did I say? I cannot... It it had the same meaning as I cannot think of a circumstance where I would veto that. Is that what you were talking about? Well, let's think about this. Say that again for me, if you can remember it. I cannot think of a circumstance where I would veto that. Was essentially that was the what got him printed on my yes, brain. Yes, that's think, that's right. All right. I don't think that was the words you used. But that no, was, I wasn't. But the reason, see, I keep doing this. Yeah. You've made six compartments. I don't know what's going to go. Yeah. The, every time before I made four. Yeah. There's a clear reason why I made six. All right. I mean, it's clear to my unconscious, but I'm, you know, my conscious is just. Yeah. Yeah. You know. But the con- the conscious is kind of what makes the forks. Yeah. You know, we it's possible we could figure out some pretty amazing things about, you know, humanity in general from this. You know, by saying that, it consciously makes the force. Yeah. And uh, we would we would know what the answer is because we saw it. I mean, if you read it in a book, you'd still have to be like, hmm. Yeah. But if I know it is absolutely true because I experienced it within me, not it, you're not even going past the problem of having to sense it. Yeah. This is pure logic. You're right. There's no... It, 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 yeah, A equals A. It's, it doesn't have to go through... Yeah, you're right. There's no error involved. Yeah. There's no way to introduce error. The only problem is we don't share. You know, this person can be sure, that person does not necessarily can be sure. Right. So that's why we have to create the technology that, you know. Communication in general. Yeah. Losslessness in communication is important. Now, you know. I've been saying that for five years. You have. Yeah. Also, this goes back to the king function, by the way. Oh, cool. Uh, the king function, ooh, it can be expressed very similarly to you. Okay. That there is a, uh, it's basically, it's basically the God idea. Alright. That, uh, God is involved in all your tiny little affairs. Basically, you know, anytime something mythical happens, you know, something worthy of, ooh, that's, you know, that has some sort of literary value that's, that's uh, temporarily recursive or whatever. It, it imitates something that happened in the past. Right. Or that's that goes back to the king function. Okay. But the king function, uh, it's not that important. Uh, yeah, I was thinking that. The problem with discovery is that it's impossible to know when it ends because you keep going further and uh, each point where you are you do not know of any other way to get farther than what you've already been doing but in that discovery of what you're doing you will find other ways to get farther right so that's why this you know this technology seems impossible oh right but you know i've gotten to impossibles before so i actually have no idea how impossible that is i don't know how what discoveries would be necessary to get there right i don't know either i don't i don't think we're gonna look at the sunset you don't think so? The no. sunrise? Yeah. I don't think so. Alright. This is more valuable. And I, w- I also don't want to take the risk of looking at the sun at all. I have to keep my body as long as I can. It's my ticket to existence.
Where are you going? I was going to put that as a Facebook quotation on my Facebook. Go ahead. Alright. What are the other things you said? I might just, I might just replace all of them. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said when he said delete everything on there. Oh, I'm even more sure now than I was before. What is a tiny ass box? Can I make it clear? <laughs> yes. Tiny ass box. I have to leave the GH Hardy quote. Okay. What did you just say? I don't even want to think about it. We'll look at the videotape later. All right. Uh, if we want to make a marker, there. All right. That way, when you can scroll yeah, through yeah. quickly and notice it. Nice. Man, we are smart. That was smart. That was a that was a practical solution that was simple that dumb people wouldn't think of. I think so. That's the sort of thing that if. Uh, you know, if I saw somebody else doing it, I'd be like, hey, yeah, I should have thought of that. You know, that's, that's how I knew them. That's how I knew to say that. That has the same feel to me as, as uh, when you go to a restaurant and you, the number of people and yeah. thumbs down. Yeah. And you make that entire conversation go away. Uh, also about the trichomes thing. Yeah. I, uh, I don't remember if Colleen knew about that or not, but she didn't ask. Yeah. I asked you immediately. Yeah. Oh, I think I don't like the light because my pupils are so dilated. That's why. That's why. You should look at your pupils. Okay, I'll take a look. I'm glad we got that orange here. Yeah, that was a good idea. I don't know why though. We're just assuming it's good for me. Which is normally bad behavior, but I'll let it slide today. What are you doing? I have a pretty strong memory of reading it on factual websites. Yeah. That orange juice is good though. That's basically that's good enough. For that's me. my proof. Yeah. Well, it's sort of like it, I'm not even gonna talk about that. Okay. That's one of them. That's that's a version of saying that other thing. I don't remember what it was. Yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> I've never heard a conversation with so many pronouns that I understood. I just realized that like a while ago, you were you you used the phrase "it" to mean almost six different things yeah. that were all extremely complicated ideas. And I followed it all, and I was, it was great. It felt very good to do that. And that's never happened before. I don't think I'll be able to see any gate out here. But if you turn the light on, then it'll affect what you're looking for. Yeah, that's why we'll get to be a flashlight. Flashlight. You know what, I, I wonder if in a survival situation it would be a great idea for me to take acid. Probably. I, I, I don't think there's any, like, any possible solution that exists that I would not find, you know, as, as, the, yeah. as the best one for now. Yeah. I, I don't think, I think I would get it. I would get them all. I mean, this would be, this would be a test. This goes back to the king function, you know. How far can I go? Death note. Where's the flashlight? It's the only thing. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's, it's the cell phone, by the way, if you didn't know. Oh, I see. You accidentally activated it earlier. Oh, this isn't the same one, but it works.
was going to eat a glass of water. Oh, and uh, I would expect the trust function to bring the camera. Alright, good idea. What about the cord? Uh, there is there's more than enough length for it to stay on. Oh yeah, then stay on. All right. In all possible scenarios, keep the cord on. All right. I'm gonna set this down. Now the the thing the thing that's I'm seeing is I'm seeing my eyes are blue. All right. You know, not the whole things. Ooh ooh. The more light is, the more blue they appear. Now they're brown. That's too much. So you're saying that's as dilated as they can become? That right there? Yeah. Uh, that's close to where they were earlier. Oh, okay. I mean, we've even made it darker, so... Yeah. It was, it was lighter outside, it was lighter when I was looking at them and they were more dilated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is the opposite of expected behavior. I don't need to talk to you. That was done. Huh? That was done. I was investigating the blue nest. I see. Well, maybe I'll take another look. <laughs> mm. I think I think really what's happening is my mind's filling in colors. It might be. And you would be more predisposed to notice the mind, the colors of the mind filled in. Also, you'd be predisposed to notice that predisposition because of your awareness that you are on acid. There's lots of different layers. I, I don't think any of those are necessary to mention. Alright. Perception's really flawed. I think what I mean by saying that is, that is... The, the whole of what you said is like a basic unit of understanding. Like, that's that's... It's, it's, uh, it doesn't need to be expanded to understand it. Yeah. Yeah. That's why, I mean, it's not like we had to say it. Yeah. What time is it? 2.30. Uh, another purpose of the schedule is to plan sleep. Sleep. Alright. Because we're, we're, I made the, uh, I sort of, I increased the stakes by seeing Colleen. Yeah. That takes more time. Time that aligns with time that had previously been aligned to sleeping. Sort of. The sleeping was not the... In my, in my mind, I had allocated past 9 o'clock as an okay time to sleep. Okay. And now, that's the start of a new activity. Past 9 o'clock. Seven hours from now. Oh, right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. 